Hello everyone. Welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. I got a little package in the mail from Jet Pins in Cali. So I thought we'd do a little stationary share. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember everything that's in this order. <laughs> there was one particular item that I needed that was very inexpensive. And so, admittedly, I decided to play the little game of, let's see what I can add to get to the $35 threshold for free shipping. <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've played that game, but um, it was fun to look through all of their new additions and see what new goodies are out on the market. I've been trying to be more intentional about my spending for the last month or so, so I haven't had a lot of packages in my mailbox lately. All right, oh yes, okay. Now I'm, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> Let's see what's the quickest way to get all this plastic off. Just slide it all out like this. Hey, jet pins. Not going anywhere. Okay. So this is the invoice with their little cartoon strip. I always like to cut these out and tack them into my Hobonichi journal. Okay, so this is a flower wreath roll of washi, and it's one of those, instead of having a continuous strip, it has the little individual pieces that come off. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, so... There's one, and you can see that the entire roll is just a stack of little individual florals. I thought this would just be cute to fill space in my Hobonichi journaling. And you can, you know, get creative and arrange them in a border or a wreath or something like that. If, if you like, but they also make cute little individual stickers. So there's that. And I've been wanting to try these for quite some time. These are the Zig Clean Color Dot markers. They are dual ended. And it looks like this end is a 0.5 millimeter, just kind of a fine marker point, and then you have the dot on the end that can be used literally for dots of different sizes, or I believe you can use the dot end to write with as well. You get kind of a bold, rounded edge. So I'm not going to open these right now just for the sake of time, but I'll try to use these very soon in my Hobonichi and show you how they look. But I got a nice kind of a smoky blue, a light coral. Let's see, they actually do have color names. So this pretty blue is called Denim. And then the other one I mentioned is called Island Coral. And then I'm always a sucker for a yellow, mustard yellow or gold. This one is called Summer Sun. And Platinum is the light gray. Love that color palette. So we'll be trying those out soon. And then these are little individual floral stickers. They are from Midori. I believe they had more than one style to choose from, 30 pieces. They just look like a substantial, like a thick, Oh, they are thicker than cardstock. I didn't realize they were going to have that much uh, dimension to them. So they're almost like a 
puffy sticker. The texture on the outside is matte. Almost have like a sheen to them. You can see that sheen. But they are, you see that thickness? They are slightly thick, so it'll be like a dimensional sticker and an adhesive on the back. So they have gold detailing. These are really pretty. Okay. And then these are what I was going for initially. And they are called an index clear folder. I have a black cat. Her name is Black Jack. These are made by Midori also. They have these nice little tabs that you can use to make, um, you know, like an index tab along the side here. If you wanted another cat design and these are more of a floral. I also love birds. I liked both of these color palettes. But what I had in mind to do with these, because these are full size, probably um, like an A4 size. And what I had in mind is to more than likely modify them by cutting them down into either A5 or B6. So let's see if my idea is going to work based on how they're attached. Yes. So these are like the Hobonichi folders if you've ever ordered them. Um, they are folded along the spine. It's part of a solid piece. So there's a crease where it's connected and then they are attached along the bottom and then open along the top and right side. So it's almost like a pocket folder. So these should actually work for the modification. If you trim them, the right side and top will still be open. So my intention is to possibly trim these down to smaller sizes and then I can use my corner rounder to round the new corner. So I will try to do that on video soon as well. I may go live tonight and just play around if y'all don't have any plans. I'll have to put an announcement if I decide to do that. But um, these are like a plasticky material with somewhat of a matte finish. I really like the patterns of all of them. Let's see. I have the A5 size in the Hobonichi brand that were in last year's release. And what I do with them is just toss in random printables that I've cut out or a sticker here and there just to have some selection on the go of items that I can add in to my Hobonichi journaling. So again, the black cat was what drew me to this initially. So I'm definitely gonna have to find a use for this one. And then here's the blue. So I will keep y'all posted on this project. If you have any questions about any of these goodies or comments, please let me know if you've tried any of them. Let me know what your thoughts and experience was. And I'll be showing them soon in my journals. Thank y'all for watching. See you soon.